this video tutorial I will cover uh, bridge design pattern implementation before you watch this video tutorial please log into my channel and watch uh, bridge design pattern introduction uh, bridge design pattern real time example and uh, bridge design pattern class diagram uh, video tutorials then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly okay now we will see the scenario where we can use the bridge design pattern Uh, in bridge design pattern there are uh, two layers are there uh, the first layer is abstraction layer and the second layer is implementation layer uh, if I made any changes in implementation layer it won't affect the abstraction layer like that if I made any changes in abstraction layer uh, it won't affect the implementation layer as per uh, bridge design pattern okay in left side you can see the abstraction uh, you can see uh, different shapes uh, circle and uh, rectangle uh, suppose say I want to uh, fill the color of the shape uh, with uh, uh, green color or uh, blue color then what I can do is I can use uh, one of this implementer uh, you can see in the right side okay I can use uh, green color implementer uh, to fill the color of the shapes with uh, green color I can use uh, blue color implementer to fill the color of the shapes with uh, uh, blue color okay uh, so this abstraction uh, a layer is using uh, one of the implementer to fill the color okay uh, suppose say uh, later point of time uh, I want to add a uh, new implementer in the implementation layer uh, like uh, red color implementer to fill the shapes with the red color so I can add it in the implementation layer uh, without affecting the abstraction layer uh, like that uh, in the abstraction layer I want to add uh, uh, new shape like uh, triangle then I can do that without affecting the uh, implementation layer so this is the best example of uh, bridge design pattern uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which we have uh, just discussed here you can see a color implementer interface it has a fill color method and uh, this color implementer uh, interface is implemented by two concrete classes the first one is uh, green color implementer and the second one is uh, blue color implementer and uh, both of these concrete classes provide uh, implementation of uh, fill color okay so this fill color method in uh, green color implementer what it will do is it uh, fill the color of the shape with uh, green color and uh, this fill color method in uh, blue color implementer what it will do is it will fill the color of the shape with uh, blue color okay and uh, here you can see a uh, shape interface uh, it has uh, two abstract method uh, the first one is uh, color it and the second one is uh, draw method uh, so this uh, shape abstract class is extended by uh, two concrete classes the first one is uh, rectangle and the second one is circle and uh, both of these uh, concrete classes provide implementation of uh, color it and uh, draw method so what draw method in rectangle will do is it will uh, draw the rectangle without any color and uh, what the draw method in circle will do is it will uh, draw the circle uh, without any color and uh, color it method uh, what it will do is it will use uh, one of the color implementer it will use either uh, green color implementer or uh, blue color implementer uh, based on the client request and uh, it will fill the uh, shape with uh, uh, that particular uh, color okay and uh, bridge design pattern client it has main method it used to explain this uh, uh, design pattern okay and I will open Eclipse and I will show you the code uh, so that you will understand very clearly. I have opened Eclipse, uh, now we will see the code. Uh, here you can see the shape abstract class and it has uh, two abstract methods. Uh, the first one is color it and the second one is uh, draw. And it has a protected variable uh, color uh, which is nothing but uh, color implementer uh, variable. And it has a getter and setter method for uh, color implementer. Okay. So this protected variable and uh, this protected method will be available for the subclasses. And uh, circle uh, which is a concrete class, uh, it extends a shape abstract class and provide implementation of uh, color it and uh, draw method. So what this draw method will do is it will uh, draw the circle without any color. And what this color it method will do is it will uh, color the circle uh, uh, with uh, green color or uh, blue color based on the uh, client request okay it will use one of the color implementer it will use uh, blue color implementer or uh, green color implementer to fill the color 
and uh, rectangle class uh, it is concrete class it extends uh, shape abstract class and provide implementation of uh, draw and uh, color it what this uh, draw method will do is it will uh, draw the rectangle uh, without any color and the color it method fill the rectangle shape with the color uh, it will use uh, one of the color implementer it will use uh, blue color implementer or uh, green color implementer based on the client request okay and uh, next one is color implementer uh, which is uh, interface and it has abstract method fill color uh, blue color implementer which implements uh, color implementer and uh, provide implementation of uh, fill color method what this fill color method will do is it will uh, fill the shape with uh, blue color okay and uh, green color implementer uh, it implements uh, color implementer interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, fill color method and what this fill color method will do is it will uh, fill the shape with uh, green color and bridge design uh, pattern client uh, which has uh, main method so here what i am doing is uh, i am asking uh, whether you want to fill the shape with uh, green color or blue color so based on that uh, i will use uh, one of the color implementer and i will fill the shape with the particular uh, color okay i will just run the code and i will show you the output so it is asking uh, whether you want to fill the shape with uh, green color or uh, blue color so i am giving green so you can see color what i have entered is green and rectangle has been drawn without any color circle has been drawn without any color then uh, both the uh, shapes are uh, filled with uh, green color you can see okay i will run it again and i will give uh, blue now you can see a uh, rectangle has been drawn without any color circle has been drawn without any color and it used uh, blue color implementer to fill the shapes with uh, blue color okay and this is a very good example of uh, bridge design pattern uh, and i hope uh, you understand the bridge design pattern implementation very clearly and i have put together all this uh, sample code related to bridge design pattern in my blog called uh, ramjte you can just visit this uh, blog and uh, get the sample code and uh, this is about uh, bridge design pattern implementation thanks for watching bye